Lucy Sinqua, magna cum laude, will deliver the address of gratitude in behalf of the graduates. To our school president, Sister Maria Filipa P. C. Hagen DC, our vice president for academics, research and Christian Vincentian formation, Dr. Belen L. Dirindiano, our Higher Education Department Dean, Sister Myra Rowena Marene DC, to all program coordinators, especially to Mrs. Maria Gina D. Vichoso, our Education Program Coordinator, Daughters of Charity Sisters, family members, personnel, parents, friends, guests, and fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today marks a significant milestone in our lives as we graduate from our beloved top institution. Graduation is a declaration of our hopes for the future. This may seem like the closure of our academic life, but definitely not the end of our life journey. Let us take this moment to repeat all the vital memories and experiences that we had to come this far. It was so ironic that our college life was like a door passage. The first year was our entrance, and after two years of blended learning due to the pandemic, we stepped on to our last year, the exit. During this time, most of us faced and suffered from the challenges that added more to our worries. We forced ourselves to our limitations in pursuit of a better future. Some of us had to study carrying problems such as financial, family, and personal problems. But despite all of this, we managed to survive. We have worked hard and persevered to get where we are today. We may say that we are different, but there's one thing that we have in common, and that is we are dreamers. I can still clearly remember our first day in college. We entered the gate of our school carrying our dreams. All of us felt different emotions, excited, nervous, and wondered how our college life would be in our chosen courses. Truth to be told, education was not my first choice. When I was a kid, I told myself that I will never choose education as my course and as my future profession. I was really a shy kid, had little self-confidence, and I was not good at public speaking. Talking in front of many people, just like this very moment, was not my cup of tea. I was torn between choosing BSBA and education. And when the admission exam came, my hands wrote down education. I think, it was a destiny for me to become an education student because if not, I would not be standing in front of you delivering our shared stories. For years, just like all of you, I was able to do things that I could not do before. I did not expect that the shy kid before can now teach more than hundreds of pupils from different grade, grade level. Indeed, our institution pushed us to be the best versions of ourselves. We, as college students, were like a flag, hit by the storm, disguised by, as our problems in life, but what matters the most is, we stand strong on the ground. We could not have done this without the support of our school and our teachers. We were the plan. The school was our garden, and the teachers were the gardeners. Just like a 
plan, we need a place and caretakers to grow. And that's what our institution gave us. They showered us not just with knowledge, but also volumes that developed us holistically and made us unique from other schools. A true vision that will empower the community for the coming years. This day is not just for remembering the past, but also for a glimpse into the future. I want you to look at, at the faces of our classmates. These faces will not be the same after five years or ten years from now. I know I am not the only one who is thinking where life would bring us after this graduation. After this graduation, the real battles in our lives will start. The world outside the four walls of our classroom will be tougher for us. Some of us, even graduates who have academic awards, might fail an exam, an interview, or fail to land a job. Our failures do not measure who we are, but rather, this will reflect how courageous we are for trying to build our dreams. We might feel pressured and discouraged because of the people who would judge and belittle us for what we did not achieve. These people will just be another distraction for us to continue. They will only see and praise our achievements, but they do not know what sacrifices we need to do in order for us to reach these goals. Remember, my fellow graduates, that our greatest enemy is ourselves. And failures are stepping stones to, to greatness. Our success depends on us. How we perceive success is up, is up to us. No one can tell us what will happen tomorrow. We cannot control everything. But we, we can do something with these uncertainties. In every struggle, we must face it with all our might so that we will not regret in the end. Always keep in your mind that risking is better than regretting. Before my speech ends, I would like to extend heartfelt gratitude on behalf of my fellow graduates to those who were behind us throughout our college journey. First and foremost, to Almighty God who gave us strength to overcome challenges. With all these blessings, this once in a life experience would not have been possible. I would also like to express our gratitude to our parents and family members for supporting us by all means. Words are not enough to show how thankful we are to have you in our lives. Also to our teachers who patiently and dedicated their time to pour us the knowledge and skill that we need both in our personal and professional lives. To our education program coordinator, Mrs. Maria Gina D. Choso, a huge thank you for transferring your knowledge to mold us into becoming true educators. <laughs> On behalf of all education students, you really did an excellent job for being our mentor. You are part of who we are today. And of course, to my ever-supporting friends and classmates, especially to B and students. I cannot name you one by one, but please know that my college life becomes very good cool because of you. To my circle of friends, who are mostly cum laude, of what you have achieved. Indeed, I really have the best set of friends. We may part ways after this, but always remember that I am only one call away. I would also like to 
thank the daughters of charity sisters for strengthening our faith and Christian values. To the school personnel and other people whom I did not mention, a big thank you to you all. To formally end this speech, to my fellow graduates, remember that we are the captain and sculptor of our life, a fighter of our dreams, writers of destinies, and hope for the future. It is up to us how will we live our life that will bring us to the highest level of happiness and contentment. Always remember the hope. Keep our eyes on the stars and our feet on the ground. And wherever life plants us, bloom with grace. That will be all. Congratulations once again and best of luck in all our future and yours. God bless. Thank you very much, Lucy. Good luck and God bless on your journey. Now, the graduates will be inducted to the St. Louis St. Marina College of Sarsogon Alumni Association. May call on Mr. Rodel Pancho, President of the Alumni Department, to lead the induction. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Pledge to embrace the vision and mission of the St. Louis de Marla College of Sorsogon Alumni Association. We envision ourselves as Christ-centered, autonomous, yet interdependent partners of the Daughters of Charity, working in collaboration with other sectors of society as promoters of the internal development of people. We are aware of the socio-economic political, and cultural challenges of our times. Nurtured by gospel values, and inspired by the Vincentian ideals, we solemnly commit to the best of ourselves and service to our sisters and brothers with the preferential option for persons who are poor. Thus we pray for the divine assistance. Congratulations and welcome to the CM Excellency Alumni College. Give a big hand to Rio Lynn Carinoso, a loyalty awardee to lead the Pledge of Loyalty. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge, I solemnly pledge my, undivided loyalty my undivided loyalty to my alma mater, to, my alma mater, to do my duty, to do my duty willingly and faithfully. To God in my country. To fulfill conscientiously all my duties and obligations as a Catholic graduate and to conduct myself as a true loyal mission. I solemnly pledge to uphold the Lumician core values of advocacy for persons who are poor, respect for human dignity and integrity of creation, commitment to excellence, compassionate service, 
Co responsibility. Co responsibility. Social commitment. Social commitment. Solidarity and simplicity. Solidarity and simplicity. To honor my alma mater. To honor my alma mater. And Rick and Rick Laurels. And Rick Laurels. Wherever I can. Wherever I can. Whatever I may be. Whatever I may be. For in doing so. For in doing so. I shall live up to her highest. And fullest ex expectation and make myself a worthy daughter of my alma mater. So help me God. For our final number, the graduates will render their graduation songs entitled The Journey Ahead, originally composed by Goldan Colliado and arranged by Stephanie Shane Privado, and A Long Mile Journey to Destiny, originally composed and arranged by Mark Anthony Don, instrumentalists Anthony Jones, Orlan De Ramas, John Del Bonos, and Mark Anthony Don.
stand for the college hymn. 